good. You lie. Yeah. All right, so we're back with the uh, with the RX-7. My little brother over the weekend got her, well, last night, sorry, uh, got the windshield off. There's a little bit of surface rust on it, but like we already kind of chipped into it a little bit. It's not that bad. My brother thought it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, so me and Tyler are getting the, we're going to gut the wiring. I, I was going to try and keep it, but one of my buddies that I've been talking to that like also is building a car, the one guy was charging like $1,500 to do a body harness. And like have it all hooked up, even like the fuel pump into the Holly Terminator we bought. So I'm like, it's, it makes more sense for me to just do that because what's $1,500 on top of the 30 we already spent? So anyway, um, we're gonna get that done, uh, and we're gonna this weekend we're prepping for paint. So we got to get sanding, taping, ripping all the wires out. Um, I'm not gonna do the sound deadening. I'm not. I just I don't see a point in going that route. I know everyone's like, oh, it's like cool. It's like the race car thing to do, but like. It's like maybe 20 pounds, and I don't feel like buying ass loads of dry ice just to be like, oh, I have a gutted interior. Because I'm putting a carpet back down anyway, so. Um, that's where we're at. So, prep, 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 and paint. So, we'll get back to you. We're going to sit you on the little time lapse, and we're going to start gutting stuff. So, see you in a sec. <laughs> So, me and Tyler had a long night, so that's for sure. Uh, we gutted everything. I, I finally decided, you know, screw it, I'll just, I'll get it rewired. So I ripped all the wiring out of the car, like everything. Um, besides like a few things like um, headlights, like I left like the little connectors, the doors I left the connectors, stuff that you would leave connectors for. Obvious stuff, it is what it is. You would know what it is if you did it. Um, I took out the buckets, you can show them that if you want. Um, I took out, I mean, my brother took out the windshield. I already told you that. The dash is out. So I did that just so I could work on this, um, the windshield right here. And it's definitely pitted like shit, but it doesn't, I mean, it came out all right. It's not, it's not like I got to worry about it now that it's sanded. I just, I, I put something on, like a treatment or something on it, and it'll be fine. But it, I'm, I'm really not worried about it at all. I got it tomorrow, me and Tyler got to take these plates out, the ghetto cage that the person did before me, and we got everything vacuumed. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do the um, sound deadening or not, it, it, it's tedious work. If you've ever even looked into it, it's all like, lay dry ice on it, wait an hour, then you chip it off, move the dry ice, wait an hour. Is in my opinion, it's not worth the hassle because first of all, like the car sounds better when you're driving in it, and the sound deadening's there because other than that, it's just a, it's like a tin can. You're sitting inside a Campbell's chicken noodle soup can, and then someone's flicking out of it. So it's not worth it to me, but um, maybe someone it is. So we're not doing that. I hit these holes up here. This is every rust spot that was trying to form on metal. So me and Tyler got like a lot of heavy sand to do. Luckily. I built a Bronco in high school, so I know how to deal with that. No big deal. There's stuff in the engine bay I gotta take care of, like um, where I hammered some of the stuff up through. Okay. Like right there, I did, you know, so I'll have to sand that. It looks like but it'll be hidden by uh, wiring specialties harness, or no, Holly, not wiring specialties. Um, over here is the same way. It'll be hidden, but I had to beat it. Chase Bay's uh, brake booster delete kit's going on this. I don't know if my brake booster was bad. I'm not even dealing with it. Don't feel like it. A few things right here needs to be sanded out. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these holes up there. I think someone's going to cut it for an intercooler because they thought they were going to do something cool. Uh, but they didn't. So I'll see where that goes. But I don't really need it. So I don't really see a point in doing anything with it. So I'm probably just going to leave that there. But as of tomorrow, me and Tyler are going to get just sanding like crazy and get this thing like sanded down to where we need it to be. Filler primer, sand again, and then Sunday we're painting. Hopefully, but we'll see where it goes. So, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. We're back. Cam's got to go work on, Is this on his job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'll get back to work again on the so Saturday. I'm gonna start sanding yeah, this thing. Six inch pads. Hey, damn. Blue point. That's a big one. Insane. It's a good one. thing Don has a million tools, huh? Yeah. But yeah, we're going to uh, start sanding this thing and uh, you'll see it's nice. Sanded. Awkward intro. Hell yeah. A little tired, a little shaky. <laughs> oh, buddy, you gotta sand your car. You know, we're like, we're kind of smooth. We still got to do a lot of like, to make it look nice. I, back in high school, I did that truck that we talked about before. I, we did like months of body work. It sucked, but I learned like so much from doing it that I know what to do with this now that we're on it. So me and him breezed through it as soon as I got back in like an hour. Now there's stuff like up here, like the, the roof has, if you put your fingers on it, you can feel it, but like there's a hole there. I'm just, honestly, I'm just gonna fill it, I don't care. I'll just fill a Bondo right over it, make it flat, call it a day. I'll hit it with a little bit of rush treatment so it like drips inside. Other than that, you're getting too picky because I'm not taking this to go get a little spot weld and then have it flat, screw all that. I may, I could probably tack it, but it's thin, so it's not worth it as a drift car. All right, um, so yeah, we just it's just a little run by, I mean, we just, we got everything sanded. It, it feels pretty good, there's some, um, Areas. I, I'm gonna walk around the sharpie. That's how I do it. And then you know where to put Bondo to flatten it. Um, that's what I do. You do whatever. I don't know. Do you but think I, you can Bondo that on the Jeep for me? Yeah, no problem. Just put some newspaper in it. Mud over. It. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I don't know. Tyler can paint. Makes a carpenter what he ain't. That's that's very true. I mean, I've, I've definitely done it. But yeah. So just uh, I mean, these moldings right here. I left them. Because I'm replacing them, so I use them as like a bump stop to sand. 
because uh, I didn't feel like taking them out and the glass is permanently stuck up because we didn't put a battery in this when it had the wiring and dropped the windows. So that's kind of where we're at. But um, I even got the Ganondorf sanded a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's because like, uh, maybe the springs in mine are worn out or something, but like maybe anybody knows anything about these. Like, they're so flimsy. They're kind of like garbage. I don't really, yeah, it's cool. Like, they're cool, but kind of fucking suck. Anyway, um, and then we got the windshield good. I mean, good as far as like, I'm gonna have to put uh, a little bit of rush treatment on that just to stop that. And you know, the proper way would be to take it to a shop. They would put a new pinch in for the windshield and you'd go from there, but. Where we're going, we don't need that. We don't need that. Where we're going, we don't need that. So, that's done. Me and Tyler tonight, we're gonna have to start being quiet because Donnie's having a little party with his friends or some shit. You know, like the wine and charcuterie boards or whatever. So, we gotta be quiet now. So we had to turn off the orbitals. We're done with that. Moving on to this, we're gonna get this done. I don't know what we're gonna do with the inside or not because we don't have power tools, but we might. But this will be sanded, ready, and we will prime it. And then the back we're gonna sand, and then the uh, door jams are gonna sand and prime. That way tomorrow, we can just shoot this thing down. I do got a little bit of stuff in there to take care of. Sorry, I'm rambling, but there's like a carpet thing on the side. That has to be taken out. I'm not taking out the sound deadening, but there's like carpet stuff left over. We're gonna wrap the liner yellow over it, but I gotta get all the rust out and all the paint tan, blah, 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 blah. You'll see, but anyway. We'll get back to you soon. engine bay done what Austin do nothing as always uh, so we got that all done that's good I'm gonna get the bondo mixed up and we got to rip on the roof because it's you know screwed up so <laughs> sitting under a tree for too long. Hey guys, yeah I'm back doing nothing so uh, it's good to be back I feel at least you shot some days or something yeah. give us an update on the IROC what's going on uh, there's not much to update um, yeah I don't know how to work on it, so someone else is, and they're taking forever. So yeah, that's about that's about it. But you'll get to see me drive it. I won't know how to do that, but that's you'll right. get to see me drive it eventually. Perfect. Okay. You uh, you still updating us? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bondo work, and then we're gonna update you for the 14th time today. But we're on our way to paint. Everything's done. I mean, even the door jams are done. They look like shit, but that's just like stain so We just gotta get that done and. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Once that's done, we're just gonna pretty much 
primer what we can for now and then switch over to the back side in the morning if the bondo sets. So for now we're just going to do the bay to get it ready because that's like the most important part to me. Any input? Uh, ran out of tape. Got to do a little tape run. Oh. We got more tape. We got more tape. Not my garage. I don't know where anything is. Bondo. Hit the Slayer. Bondo. All right, we're at Austin's master class on how to tape off a window. Check back to see the finished product, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll show you guys later what it looks like. <laughs> All right, we're back. We um, prepped the whole surface with the greaser, and then we did. Uh, I dried it off with the air hose. Then I acetoned it. So now we're good, and we're gonna get painting, and we'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna do a test to see which mask works better for paint. This one, for sure. You're good. Don't make me a delirious. All right, um. Probably because you've been so, breathing paint fumes. Anyway, uh, we got, I mean, we got prime, uh. <laughs> we probably What did we do? Hey, can you guys tell us what we did? It's been a long day. Uh, we, <laughs> helped, been a long day. we helped a bunch of paint, and now we're going to look at it for Your about 45 minutes. Your boy's been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. Killing yeah. it. Um, Did you figure out what you're gonna say yet? Yeah, we got the primer on. Uh, the Bondo is getting harder, but it's not fully there, but it's Bondo. going the right direction Bondo. now. So that's good. I'll say that out tomorrow. Then me and Tyler are gonna finish priming this bitch. Uh, this thing. <laughs> and then we just got a wet sand, and I'll order a little bit more paint, and we'll go yellow. Um, we still are gonna do the inside, but we ran out of time, so. Maybe tomorrow we'll scuff that bad boy down and paint it, but I don't even know if we have enough primer. But anyway, I'll be back to you tomorrow and we will show you <coughs> the yellow. So, I'll see you tomorrow.
we got this all done. We got right in here is done too. We, me and Tyler sprayed the inside of the doors. That's all done. The jams are done. Uh, looks decent enough. I don't really care that much. And then we did this, so that's done for now. So we're just moving on to the bay. We'll get that painted. And then we can start doing like motor mock-up and stuff and then get that done with. And, uh, oh wait, no, never mind. Next weekend we got to do the Rhino Liner, right? I don't know, bro. It's your car. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Who knows? All right, but yeah, anyway, I just was checking in real quick. So we're going to paint the bed. We're going to time lapse and like, uh, let you watch that. And we'll be all right. You're ready. All right, so um, it's yellow. <laughs> yeah, so we're done uh, for now. Uh, I need like at least 12 more cans of paint. Like this paint really didn't go too far. But I guess it being yellow, it's white. It needs it doesn't really soak up a ton of color. I guess you would say. So I need to get like six more cans for this engine bay, and then we'll just douse it in it again. The windshield came out like perfect, uh, or whatever you would call that. Um, but that rust thing fixed all that, so that should be good to go. We even did the back part of it, which that's why I need to buy a bunch more cans. Like all this stuff, it's decently coated, but like I'm sure they, they can see that, right? Where it's like yellow, 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 yellow. I know that's from spraying, like, mm -hmm. but we needed to be that yellow the whole way around. And then uh, obviously the, we got to do the inside of the door and stuff. That's why we prepped them, but we have nowhere near enough paint for that. So we still got to stain all that, paint that yellow. And then once that's all yellow like that, I'm probably just going to get it wrapped because with gas prices and all that shit, I'm sure, I mean, I already know paint's expensive because that, that was $219 for six cans of yellow paint. So I'll probably just have to get it wrapped. But anyway, I wanted to have everything that... Like, you can't wrap painted yellow, so it wasn't like yellow wrap and then red engine bay. Plus, uh, the motor looks so good now, it just, it would be pretty to put the motor in like that ugly red bay, so. Now the orange and yellow should mess really good and match like the angle kit and stuff, and then the bash bar, I can't wait to put that back on, but. Uh, we're getting there. Um, I'm not sure what me and Tyler are going to do next weekend. Maybe that Raptor liner if we get to it, I don't know, but. Anyway, we at least got the Raptor liner to do and engine and trans mock up. So, still, the next video should be a good one. So, I'm done. So, I will see you later. Oh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. All right, turn that thing off. <laughs>